I'm Cecilia Maria Salazar, and today I'm going to be reading a story from the NGC Children's Focus Litfest Storytelling Caravan. I'm going to be telling you a story called Escape to Trinidad, and it's written by some wonderful children in sea drugs. Harlequin the horse lived in a cow shed with Maniku and Monkey on Farmer Jacob's farm. It overlooked a long, long beach in Venezuela. Their good friends were Julian and Juanita. Their homes were higher up the hill, above the farm. One day, while the friends were all playing on the beach, Juanita found a skinny puppy. It was covered in cold, wet sand. The little dog looked odd, but she decided to take him home. She wrapped him in a towel. Harlequin first whined in Spanish. ¿Qué es esto? Then said in English, What is that? Unwrapping the towel, Juanita replied, A three-headed dog. Where did it come from? Asked Harlequin. He is cute, Julian said. Throw him in the water! Monkey advised in a squeaky voice. No, Monkey, we'll keep him, said Juanita. Let us name him, said Maniku while sliding down a tree. They called the heads Rico, Rex, and Marco. On the way home, they showed Farmer Jacob the puppy. He is a different one, he boomed. They all stared at him. Farmer Jacob's big oval head was egg-shaped. His large eyes were like two windscreens on the shiny old red van that he used for taking things to the market. He looked very unusual. Let's give him some meal, he offered. Farmer Jacob also gave the children bags of pineapples, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, and a lot of sweet, sweet corn. Life went on and Puppy became the playmate of everybody on the farm. The puppy grew into a dog that was loved by everyone in the area. One day, everything began to shake. A loud noise alarmed everyone in the neighborhood. Monkey screamed, Ah, what? Something's happening! Earthquake! Earthquake! Harlequin neighed loudly. Maniku climbed to the top of the cow shed and suddenly shouted, Big, big waves are forming! Harlequin kicked down the stable door. Daddy Jacob! screamed the horse. Monkey quickly climbed the highest tree. He could clearly see a high, high, high wall of green water rushing to the seashore. Pointing at the beach, he screamed, Oi! Ai! He bawled, Get out! Get out! The ocean is coming! The sea is coming! Giant waves roared inland. They were as tall as coconut trees. Farmer Jacob shouted, Run! Run! Run, everybody! Make a man scramble up the mountainside! The cows cried, Boo! Ba ba ba! Said the goats and the sheep. Pigs rushed, snorting and squeaking up the hill. Pigeons flew from their cages. Cocks crowed and hens squawked as they too tried to fly. There was a lot of noise as the crashing waves struck down coconut trees. From Julian and Juanita's house. They all looked at the flooded farm. Farmer Jacob sat quietly. Sweat ran down his bright red face. He rubbed his eyes. All of them were frightened, quiet and sad. When the sea rolled back, Monkey, Maniku, Harlequin, Farmer Jacob, Julian, Juanita, and the three-headed dog all went down to the beach. 
Harlequin sat quietly. We need to get out of Venezuela. I don't feel safe anymore. The friends answered like a chorus. We must all escape to Trinidad. Farmer Jacob said, I'll be here when you return. Suddenly Rico, Rex and Marco transformed into a boat. And they, when they jumped onto the boat, Julian began to cry. He realized he was leaving his country that he loved very much. He was going to a place called Cedrus in Trinidad, which he had only once heard someone talk about. Crick Crap, Wire Bear, Story End.